Hello students of class 6. Today we are going to do your chapter 5 adjectives from your superb English grammar book. Now children, what are adjectives? Adjective is a describing word used to add some meaning to a noun or a pronoun. What are nouns? Any name, place, animal or thing is a noun. Now a word which describes such nouns is called as an adjective. Now adjective means to add to. Now let's do try out one from your book. Choose the correct option. As you can see in your book children, the girl is fat. So number one, the girl looks really fat. Number two, the parrot is green in color. So green parrot is a rare species. Number three, Rani Lakshmi Bai was a brave warrior. Because as you can see from the picture, that she is riding a horse and has a sword in her hand which shows that she is a very brave lady. Therefore, Rani Lakshmi Bai was a brave warrior. Number 4. I bought 7 balloons for my daughter. As you can count from the picture that there are 7 balloons. So, I bought 7 balloons for my daughter. Next children, we will come over to what are the kinds of adjectives. Now children, there are basically seven kinds of adjectives. They are adjectives of quality, adjectives of quantity, adjectives of number, demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives, possessive adjectives and proper adjectives. Now coming over to the first, adjectives of quality. Now these adjectives, they show kind or quality of a noun. They show qualities like shape, color, manner, etc. They answer the question types what kind. Like example, these words are examples of adjectives of quality. Beautiful, talented, dedicated, trendy, strong, gentle. Now these are answering the question types what kind. Next we come over to adjectives of quantity. They show how much of a thing is meant. How much quantity means how much in quantity. They are used for uncountable nouns. Those nouns which cannot be counted, they are used for adjectives of quantity are used for uncountable nouns. They answer the question how much. Examples, many, several, little, enough, whole, etc. These are all adjectives of quantity. Next, we come over to adjectives of number. Now, they point out how many persons or things are meant. They are used for countable nouns. They are also called numbered adjectives. They answer the question, how many? Examples, some, first, all. Next, we come over to demonstrative adjectives. They point out to the exact person, place or thing. They answer the question, which one? They are always followed by nouns. Children, you have to remember that demonstrative adjectives are always followed by nouns. Example, this, that, these, those. There are only four kinds of demonstrative adjectives to be kept in mind. Interrogative adjectives. Now, what is the meaning of interrogative? Interrogative means it comes from the word interrogate. Interrogate means to ask or to inquire or to question. So, it is an adjective that modifies a noun by asking a question. What is the meaning of modifies a noun? Modifies a noun means make some good changes to it. They are always followed by nouns. They ask questions like whose, what and which. Now, possessive adjectives. What are possessive adjectives? Possessive means yours, your own. You possess it. You own it. So, these words tell us about the ownership or the possession of the noun. Now, when the subject pronoun is I, the possessive pronoun is my, but the possessive adjective is my. Now, both me and mine are first person singular pronouns. Keep these things in mind. Now, very important thing to notice, we use my before the word and my is always followed by the noun. Now, use mine after the word. Mine replaces the noun. Now, mine can refer to a singular or plural noun. Now, for example, Sheila is my friend. Now, in this, the 
Sheila is my friend. Now, my is always followed by a noun in this sentence. Uh, the noun here is friend. So, my is always followed by a noun. And Sheila is a friend of mine means mine is replacing the noun friend. Next. As you can see from the table here, children, you have to go through the subject pronoun, possessive pronoun and the possessive adjective for it. Like for I, the possessive pronoun is mine and possessive adjective is mine. Similarly, you can go through the table for we, you, they, he, she and it. You have to keep these things in mind. Next. Possessive pronouns are always followed by nouns. For example, children, their room is sparkling. Now, whenever a sentence is given to you, we always have to identify what is a noun. Now, in this sentence, their room is sparkling. The noun is room. And uh, as we know, possessive adjectives are always followed by nouns. So, the adjective here is their Whose room is sparkling? Their room is sparkling. So, there is the adjective and room is noun. Now, second example, our city has been declared the smartest city. So, children first identify the noun. The noun here is city and as we know, possessive adjectives are always followed by noun. So, R is the possessive adjective over here. Next, these books are my possessive pronoun. Now, these are my books. Books is a noun which follows the adjective my. So, children, can you know the difference between mine and my here? In possessive pronoun, the noun is replaced by mine. And in possessive adjectives, it is followed. Like my is the possessive adjective which is followed by the noun books. Next, we come over to proper adjectives. Now, what are proper adjectives, children? They are a different kind of adjectives of quality. These adjectives are derived from proper nouns. Example, I am an Indian soldier. Now, Indian word comes from the word India. So, what, ki what kind of a soldier am I? Am I? I am an Indian soldier. So, these proper adjectives are describing or derived from proper nouns. Now, try out to children. In your book, there are a lot of describing words or adjectives which are given, what you have to do in tryout 2 is make 5 clouds and in all those 5 clouds put 6 describing words each from this uh, list of words which are given in your textbook. And to describe each friend of yours, you can write 6 six describing words in each cloud. So how many clouds you have to make? Children? You have to make 5 clouds and put 6 describing words or adjectives which are given from the list in those five clubs. Next, children, we come over to try out three. Underline the adjectives and tell their kinds. Number one, these are Spanish singers. Now, children, always identify the noun first. The noun here is singers. Now, what kind of singers are they? They are Spanish singers. Now, Spanish is a proper adjective. Why? Because they are derived from the proper noun, Spanish. Now, these is a demonstrative adjective. Why? Because they are pointing out to the exact person, place or thing. Where over here, they are pointing out to the Spanish singers. They are demonstrating or showing. Demonstrate means to show. So, these over here is a demonstrative adjective as they are pointing out to the Spanish singers. Number two, which jacket is yours? Identify the noun children. The noun here is jacket. And as you can see, which jacket is yours? Question mark. This is an interrogative sentence. And which is the interrogative adjective? Why? Because it is asking the question. Which jacket is yours? Number three. My mother is the owner of this house. Now, children, in this we have two nouns. One is mother and the other is house. Now, the adjective which describes the mother is my. My mother. So, she is my mother. So, I... I own her. She is my mother. She belongs to me. So, it is a possessive adjective of my. Next noun is house. Now, this is a demonstrative adjective. Why? Because this is showing that this house is mine. It is showing or demonstrating that this house is mine. So, the word this is the demonstrative adjective over here. 
Next week, I'm going to your new sofa is not comfortable. Please identify the noun here, children. As you can see, the noun here is sofa and your is the possessive adjective. Number five, six actors were awarded. Noun over here identified as children, actors. And how many actors were there? Six. So, this is adjectives of number. Number six, his grandmother told a humorous story. Which is the noun here? Grandmother. Whose grandmother? His grandmother. So, his is the possessive adjective. Number 7. The cutlets were spicy and crispy. Now, which is the noun here, children? Cutlets is the noun. And how, did, how were the cutlets? They were spicy and crispy. So, the adjective of quality here is spicy and crispy because they are telling us what kind were the cutlets. Number 8. Give me some food. The noun here is food. And some is the adjective of quantity because it is not specifying how much food. It is just saying some food. So, some is the adjective of quantity in the sentence number 8. Number 9. Whose pencil is this? Again, it is an interrogative sentence because it has a question mark and a questioning word whose. So, pencil is the noun and whose is the interrogative adjective. Number 10. They are friendly with their neighbors. Neighbors is the noun and there is the possessive adjective in the sentence. Next, try out four. Find out the adjectives from the given text and write their kind. Once a severe epidemic broke out in Qatar, Subhash Chandra Bose went there with a small team to help the poor and sick people. Some people praised the work being done by Subhash and his friends, but many people made fun of them. Heather was one such person who always ridiculed them. These people are mad, stupid and useless. Which person in his senses can appreciate what they are doing? He would often say. Now children, in this paragraph, once a severe epidemic broke out in Qatar. Now, what do you mean by the word severe? Of a huge, uh, you know, a very big kind uh, of an epidemic. Big kind of in a large scale, large scale epidemic. Epidemic means a kind of crisis in which a lot of people fall sick. Once a severe epidemic. So the epidemic was severe and it broke out in Qatar. So Bash Chandra Bose went there with a small team. How was the team? It was small. So how is the, what is the word describing team? Small. What is the word describing epidemic? Severe. So these are all describing words. Next. So uh, Subhash Chandra Bose went there with a small team to help the poor and sick people. How were the people? They were poor and sick. Some people praised the work being done by Subhash and his friends. Now, some is an adjective of quality. Praise the work being done by Subhash and his friends. His is again a possessive adjective. But many people made fun of them. Many again is an adjective of quantity. How many people? Many people. Heather was one such person who always ridiculed them. Now, Heather was one such person. This is adjective of number. Now, these people are mad, stupid and useless. How, what are the words being used to describe the people by Heather? Mad, stupid and useless. Which person in his senses can appreciate what they are doing? Appreciate means to praise. He would often say, once some members of Heather's family fell ill. Again, some is adjective of quality. Heather went out to look for medical help, but no help was available anywhere. Heather was very sad as he returned home. But a great surprise was waiting, awaiting him. Now, children, what is the adjective describing your surprise? It is great surprise. So, Bosch and his friends had already reached there with a doctor and were looking after the sick people. Heather thanked them greatly. He was also sorry for having insulted them earlier. There is no need to thank us at Shubash. We are doing our duty. Now, what is the adjective to describe thank them greatly? The adjective is greatly. So now, children, you can go through this table where the adjectives have been listed and the kind of adjectives are mentioned over here. Next, we come over to try out 5. Fill in the blanks with adjectives as indicated in the brackets. A pentagon has dash sides. Adjective of number, pentagon has 5 sides. Penta means 5, so pentagon has 5 sides. 
Now number two, dash card do you intend to buy? Interrogative adjective. Interrogative means it has to be a questioning word. It will ask a question. So which car do you intend to buy? Number three, dash peaches are fresh. Demonstrative adjective means that adjective has to show something. So how will you show by this, that, these, those? So those peaches are fresh. Number four. The cat is dash licking dash tail. Possessive adjective. Now the cat is a noun here, and we have to mention a possessive adjective. That means the cat is licking its tail. So this its possessive adjective is reflecting back to the cat itself in the possessive form. Whose tail? The cat's tail. So the cat is licking its tail. Number five. This story is dash adjective of quality. This story is interesting. It is describing what the story is. Number six, many dash tourists visit India. Give a proper adjective. Many Japanese tourists or many Chinese tourists or many Mexican tourists. You can mention any proper adjective over here. Number seven, the tired traveler needed adequate rest. Adjective of quantity, adequate. Or you can also write needed sufficient rest. Number eight, he solved a dash question quickly. He solved a tough question quickly. Now try out six. The form adjectives from the following words. Beauty, beautiful, month, monthly, thought, thoughtful, thirst, thirsty, mercy, merciful, harm, harmless, economy, economical, memory, memorable, glory, glorious, science, scientific, wind, windy, fame, famous, honor, honorable, prime, criminal, Peace, peaceful, express, expression. Now, children, you we have come to the end of this chapter. Now, if you have any doubts regarding adjectives, please mention in the comment section below. I will try to clear your doubts. Now, children, if you want the meaning of these words, beautiful, monthly, thoughtful, and the list given below, please mention in the comment section. I will explain all these words in detail to you. The meaning of all these words, I will explain to you. Now children, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.